seeing the aurora on any given night is far from certain. So to shorten the odds, I've recruited the help of an astrophysicist, Professor Mike Lockwood. It might not that I'm complaining, but other than for reasons of pure enjoyment, why did we have to come to the Arctic Circle on snowmobiles? We needed to get out the city because the streetlights produce a light pollution that actually make it hard to see the aurora. But it's good we've come at the end of winter because actually the energy we take out the solar wind is a little bit stronger. Yeah, so this is, I suppose then, the perfect day because we're in late March, completely blue sky. Fabulous. If this stays, we've got 80% chance tonight. Soon after dusk, and despite clear skies, there's no early performance from the aurora. So while we wait, Mike runs a film loop of the northern lights as seen from an extraterrestrial perspective. So that's a beautiful image. I haven't seen an image like that before. It's uh, it was taken from above the pole. Yeah, that's, that's a spacecraft in orbit around the planet, yes, going from pole to pole. From space, you can really see the impact of the solar wind. Its energy feeds an unbroken circuit of aurora that surrounds the pole. And we will feel that it's a display put on just for us here. But when you see the pictures from space, you realise everybody on that oval is getting the display as well. Well, my hope is that we'll be directly underneath that tiny thin yeah. band yes. tonight here in Tromso. Yes. Thankfully, our luck holds and the skies remain crystal clear. Until at last, energy brought by the solar wind sets the upper atmosphere alight. Absolutely amazing sight. Arcs, but more like curtains of, of, of green. It doesn't look to me like it's cascading down. It, it looks like it's rising up from the ground. It is quite incredibly beautiful. <laughs> 